Uh, this is a quick demonstration of the Foxtech H-Wing, also known as the Swan K1. And this is the updated colour scheme that uh, Brandon uh, has done and done a very nice job of it. And also wanted to show the, um, the updated flight control that we have. So I'll just uh, arm the vehicle and take it off here in Q loiter mode. So there it is flying in a loiter and I'll yaw it around a little bit and we can fly a bit closer to the pilot. All right, and you can see that uh, Brandon's really done a very nice job of, of making the aircraft look just like the real aircraft. In fact, you can very clearly see the angling on the motors, which matches the real aircraft, where the motors are slightly angled uh, inwards and inwards towards the fuselage and outwards. And so here we have it sort of just flying around as a multi-rotor. And of course we can transition it into forward flight. So I could do that briefly now, I'll just climb up a little bit and I'll tell it to transition to fixed wing mode like that. And there it is now flying as a fixed wing aircraft in fly by wire A and really flies very nicely. So bring it in like that and then I'll take it back to Q hover and uh, so there it is now in a hover and uh, then I can tell it to go to Q loiter mode to hold position and I'll bring it back down so lowering the altitude around a little bit uh, and then I'll bring it back and uh, pop it on the ground and then we'll do a an autonomous mission. So it's at 25 meters and coming back down, six meters, and all oh, right, so we're just landing on the, uh, on the sidewalk over there. Great, okay, so we've got ourselves all ready, and so it's already armed, and what I'm gonna do is uh, tell it to do a fully autonomous mission at this point, so it'll fly around this path and come back and land, and so there it is doing a auto takeoff, a little bit of a kick there at the start and now it'll transition up to reasonable height then head off in fixed wing mode and head off to the first waypoint and then flying around these these waypoints here all right and i'll just turn on the the motor noises will be i won't be able to hear it at that distance but uh because we're quite a long way from the plane here but when it comes back we might be able to hear it uh, the, the motors roaring as it goes back to VTOL mode and one of the changes we've made in uh, in this code is we've got an improvement in the back transitions so it gains a lot less height in the back transitions now uh, thanks very much to a report from a user on the forum we tracked down what the issue was with the gaining more height than it needed to so now it's going to gain a lot less. So we can see it's coming in at about 15 meters there. And now it's back transitioning. And it's gone up to about 35. So it gained about 20 meters, which is probably still more than it really needs to. It could, it could probably get that down a little bit less. It's got to convert the kinetic energy to the potential energy, of course. But uh, um, I think it could probably slow down a little bit more before that transition to make that a, a little bit better. So there it is now doing the landing and now what it'll do is it'll settle in there and then it will disarm. It does take it a while to disarm. There it is finally disarmed and we're sitting on the ground. So there you have it, the uh, Foxtech H-Wing, also known as the Swan K1, now with um, an improved colour scheme that better matches the real aircraft. So happy flying.